question. A 38-year-old client with a history of severe claustrophobia and panic disorder is scheduled for an MRI of the brain to assess possible neurological pathology. The client refuses the MRI due to intense anxiety about being enclosed in the MRI machine. The nurse recognizes the need to minimize the risk of a panic attack while maintaining the diagnostic integrity of the procedure. Which action should the nurse take first to ensure the client's safety and prepare them for the procedure? Administer a prescribed benzodiazepine, lorazepam, as per the provider's orders to manage the anxiety. Provide the client with a detailed explanation of the MRI procedure while teaching specific relaxation techniques and offer support. Reschedule the MRI for a different time and discuss alternatives, such as an open MRI or sedation, to reduce the stress and anxiety. Initiate a referral to a psychiatric team for immediate evaluation and to address the client's anxiety disorder before proceeding. Answer. 2. Provide the client with a detailed explanation of the MRI procedure while teaching specific relaxation techniques and offer support. Rationale. The first priority in this situation is to support the client's autonomy and address their immediate anxiety before the procedure. By providing detailed information about the MRI process and offering relaxation techniques, for example, deep breathing, guided imagery, the nurse helps to alleviate acute anxiety and fosters a sense of control for the client. Option 1. Administering sedative, although sedation might be helpful for some patients. Lorazepam or other sedatives should not be given as the first step in managing claustrophobia without understanding the client's concerns or trying non-pharmacological interventions. Administering sedatives before providing education could increase anxiety and reduce patient trust. Option 3. Rescheduling MRI, rescheduling, or suggesting alternatives like open MRI may be considered after attempting to educate and support the patient. This could be premature and may not address the root cause of anxiety, which is a psychological response to the closed space. Option 4. Referral to psychiatric services. Referring to psychiatric services is an important step, but in an acute setting, it's more appropriate to first attempt patient education and relaxation. Immediate referral may be too drastic and could delay necessary diagnostic testing without directly addressing the patient's current anxiety. The best first step involves providing education and supporting the client's coping strategies to manage immediate anxiety while still maintaining the procedure's integrity. If this approach is unsuccessful, further interventions such as sedation or referral can be explored.